So the MK1 launch trailer popped up earlier today. And man, talk about talk about cutting it to the last minute. They went all the way to the very last minute. Uh, game pretty much comes out another, another day or so. And we finally get to see how apparently Shang Tsung plays and Reiko. I don't know how much else is in here. I'm just seeing like shots of the characters. So I'm like, oh, okay, they're in here. But at the same time, there's still a lot more in Mortal Kombat 1 that we don't know about between like the customization and, you know, gear unlocks and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's it's early access for the premium edition. So it's out like they, they it, it's out like it's not like, you know, oh, you play the premium edition, but you can't play the story mode. You only get to play versus mode. No, it's if you get the premium edition of all these games that have this sort of thing, it's just out. So by the time the premium edition unlocks, it's it's donezo, right? And people already obviously have the game because the last week of which, you know, we have learned that. So uh, yeah, let's check out the launch trailer. I'm hoping it's halfway as good as the Mortal Kombat 11 launch trailer is, but I will say like the overall hype train that has gotten us to the point of right now with, with MK1 wasn't nearly as good as MK11 and MK11 got a little bit I was definitely more excited by like all the the reveals of stuff for MK11. Uh, although I didn't like MK11 as much, it felt like that that lead up, that build up to the eventual release was a bit better. It felt it felt that way. Unless this trailer is amazing, MK11 had a lot of ridiculous hype around it. Um, so let's let's look at this and see if it comes comes comparatively any closer at all. Feels like MK11 was not even that long ago. I become keeper of time. I was free to craft a new era of peace. As long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fenjian. Is it so wrong to want some excitement? Yes. Time draws near. So I'm asking questions. Martial arts tournaments between Earth Realm and the Outworld. It has begun. <laughs> Makes sense that, you know, Sindel would say it. Damn! 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 Uh, Melina combo. Damn! Oh, yeah, there's Shujinko just copying moves. You are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last. So is Reiko a ninja in any way, or is he like a straight brawler? Is he just a Mad Max guy? Or is he like MK4 ninja style? Darius beaten ass. Ouch. He's fine. He'll be fine. Ow, his head will be fine as well. Uh-oh. Gitara combos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're never gonna end. Yeah, she's not done. You think she's done? No, those combos go on forever. Oh, this one, this shot, it really looks like Jean-Claude. One timeline. Man, this has mega hit written all over it. Yeah, in some shots it really looks like Jean-Claude Van Damme, in other shots it doesn't. That one looked pretty good. Inferior clans who will fall to the Lin Kuei. So what do we see about invasions? Yeah, this is all stuff that was in invasions, that's for sure. We played this. in this war. Let us win it first, brother. I will aid you. Varega. If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. Your race can shift. Cool. Jeez, Reptile looks so cool. Death roll. I Deliverer Shang Tsung, join me. Potentially, Chronica. Thrilled about that. Just thrilled. I found my destiny. Okay, finally see Shang Tsung gameplay. My God, dude. Classics. Wait a minute. Did he always have the old man costume during this fight, or did he turn into an old man? What? Well, he also turns into Luke Angkul. 
that you pose ends today. He turned into old? Whoa, I gotta check that out. Oh god, he's fine. He's fine. She's also fine. She got a birthday cake. This guy is a birthday cake. A complete normal thing you do to somebody, right? That's just a complete normal thing. Also is this. This is a normal thing that you do to somebody. You also drip this into people. It's a happiness dragon here to spread happiness. Really the Mortal Kombat dragon spewed out of his guts. He's like an alchemist now. It was a healing potion. Yes, it was a wonderful healing elixir. He also does birthday parties. Uh, let's go back and take a look. Most of it is story stuff, right? Granted, the first, like the, we saw a Melina combo that just looks friggin' insane. Uh, so number one, Melina with opposite side dive kick, right? Tel Tele kick is coming from behind you now. Actually coming from behind you now, which is fascinating. I don't know, did she have that in MK11? Because Telekick's usually from the front, right? She's all Shadow Jago like So that's an EX Telekick to the opposite side. And an upwards one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That is roll. What is that? Like an aerial roll that sh A little Sonic the Hedgehog spin that shoots out Sonic tendrils? And she has a roll ender grab. And she also has Tarkatan blades on her hands for a finisher? Yo, what? Damn, that combo looked pretty sick. Wonder how happy Kenny is. Yeah, she's like slight mixture of Baraka. I mean, granted, she always has like size, you know? And she's still using those. It's just funny that she literally, oh, she stabbed your feet with the size, and then she's stabbing the shit out of you. Stabby, stabby, stabby. So, uh, Shujinko comes out and uses Scorpion's Spear, and I think we already presume this, that Shujinko is going to take the moves of other characters. Like, he's just gonna steal moves of whoever you're fighting. Which will be an interesting, an interesting cameo. That'll be like a challenge cameo, right? Lee Mei doing Lee Mei combos. Whoa, is that just a Lee Mei string? No. It straight looked like a Lee Mei string. Okay, could dash forward after. He has a, a slide special. Into a, a beat you up command grab. That's about it. This is just the, uh, you know, fatal blow. Man, that's all we get from Reiko? Dude, we get like a one, two, four into stand four. That's it. He's a UFC fighter. Uh, uh I don't. He and they granted they kind of changed his gameplay a bit in like the later 3D MKs as well, where he he lost a lot of that like ninja isms where he wasn't a magical ninja. He was kind of like a, a guy ninja, right? I'm just a dude. Yeah, he kind of feels like he's like the Kano of the game right now. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think we saw anything more on him later. I'm gonna find out. Very dude-like in all of his actions. Natara looks ridiculously impressive because, you know, Natara has always looked impressive in terms of gameplay. This Natara combo lasts like 15 seconds. Hey, listen, we already know this is true. Mortal Kombat 1 is a game where eventually you're going to get hit and you're going to watch a combo for 15 to 25 seconds and you're going to like it, right? Will you be able to break it? You wish you would. But this is a game where, you know, it'll take a while, you'll figure out neutral, and then you're going to watch my combo for the next 15 to 25 seconds and you're going to like it. Two Johnnies, one timeline. Feels like the model's even looking a bit better. Maybe it's just me. So this, this just looks like straight up invasions mode with nothing special. Havoc was in here for a second, right? Was he getting beaten up? 
We saw Havoc doing a stand one two. We did it. We saw a stand one two from Havoc. Oh joy. There will be spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. I will aid you. If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take. Dude, Reptile looks so good right here. My God, man. This is like an in-game shot too, right? This could be like a taunt or something? Jesus, he looks so sick. It's funny, like, the in-game shot of Reptile looks even better than some of the story cutscenes. He looks so cool. So what, like a 1-3 or something like that? 1-3 launcher, stand three. Stand three into special. How are we feeling about Chronica coming back, chat? It's got all the telltale signs that Chronica is still around. How are we feeling about that? Bad! <laughs> bad, everyone, bad! Boo, no! I mean, if it, I, I don't think I hated Chronica. I don't think I hated her too much in the previous one. But I am surprised that even with all the timeline resettingness, it didn't, I, think, I find it funny that it didn't actually matter. She's still around, <laughs> right? I find it kind of funny that like Liu Kang created a whole new universe, created the Big Bang, and Kronika is still hovering around. Shinnok and his shitty family are still ruining everybody's lives. Join me and I will put the realm. Wait a minute, was that like, wait a minute. Am I looking too much into this? Is that like Chronica's crown? Oh no! Yeah. Uh oh. It's the little helmet. It's it's the Chronica crown. Yeah, maybe right. That's that was the whole thing they were after in Mortal Kombat 11 was the Chronica crown to control the hourglass, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. It could be a different one. It could be somebody else's. It could be Yo Mama Onaga's. I think the more important question is that this could be Moloch's hat. And that's what they're after. They're after the hat of Moloch, which has the most powerful combat potential of anything in Mortal Kombat. I don't. Th I think if you think this belongs to anybody but Moloch, you're a bitch. And I will put the realms at your feet. I found my destiny. Man, uh, I do like the uh, crazy claw thing that Shang Tsung's got going on here. Looks cool. So what happens here? He starts off as, as young man Shang. Wait, what? He turns? He literally calls an assist and turns into old man Shang Tsung? And then turns into Liu Kang? Whoa. So obviously you can you can now actually shapeshift, right? Shapeshifting was kind of a was kind of a gimmick in uh, MK11, where you just turned into the classic ninjas, like just just palette swap classic ninjas. Um, I mean, I don't think it's a different character. I don't think, but that's kind of sick. That depending on what you do, he switches between his visuals. Like this is probably a move, right? But sort of dope, right? If if that is a thing that the character does. That looks just like Shujinko. Let's compare it, right? Y'all, y'all were saying y'all gave people mad shit that Shang Tsung and Shujinko, you know, oh that. How did you not know that was Shujinko? That was Shang. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Here we go. Hold on a second. Completely different costumes. Chat. You are fucking high. You guys are literally high as balls. Uh, you guys are actually crazy daft. Completely different outfit. Who that? Was, I, I saw several people in the chat saying, it's Shujinko, just look at it. Several people said that, and he's literally wearing an entirely different costume. Uh, his beard is actually completely different. It's just Shujinko, look at him. His guy has like a top knot back here. He does not. Good call, chat. Hmm. Classic projectile. Turns into old Shang when calling an assist. 
that's cool damn down a projectile instead of from the well ground up from from the air that's really sick looking and it is cool that he could finally turn into them right it is cool that this this still exists they found a way to like integrate it into the gameplay yeah it's like it's like i don't know i don't i here's the thing i i'm gonna call it that i don't think there's any difference between old shang and new shang i think they're just just a visual thing i'm gonna say it's just visual but we're gonna find out because there's gonna be a combat cast for it very soon it might just be visual which is still cool the threat you pose ends today ah there might yeah there there might be different moves you know that would be very nice i'm gonna say it's it's all it's all visual uh well there you go you know what i'm gonna say for a launch trailer historically you know going back to mkx at least the launch trailers have been a bit better in the past i think they've been a bit better it was funny that you know, all the launch trailer was was the final reveal of the last two characters and how they play, even though we know how they play. Eleven has like the, the best launch trailer of almost anything. Mortal Kombat X's launch trailer was also really good as well. I don't think it was as good as I remember, but I thought, still thought it was really good. This one was like, meh. It, it didn't really change my mind in terms of the overall like marketing of Mortal Kombat 1 in comparison to MK11. Uh, even MKX, I felt like those games had more focused marketing efforts, and that could be because of time, it could be because of, you know, a variety of reasons.